Hey everyone, I'm Asha Kay, your tech guru. Today I'm showing you how to use Maps on your iPad. Most iPads already come with the Maps pre-installed. So on your home screen, you're going to click on the Maps and it pulls up a map. First thing I'm going to do is show you how to find your own location. This arrow on the top menu bar here, once you tap on that, it'll bring up my location with a pin drop. The other cool thing you can do once you have your location centered, you can also go to Street View by clicking on this little icon to the left side of your current location. So I click on that, comes up with a Street View. You can just use your finger to slide around and see the Street View of where you are. To go back to your map, you just tap on this circle in the bottom right hand corner. There you go. I'm now back to the map. The other cool thing you can do, if you're not really, if you don't really like the look of this map, You'll see a little bookmark on the bottom right hand corner here of your iPad. Once you tap that, you can choose different types of maps to look at. So let's try the classic. There you go, there's the classic map. Or you could try the hybrid, which is a bit of the satellite and the classic. You could even try the terrain map, which shows you mountains and different things like that. I'm going to go back to the satellite map. Okay. The other thing you can do when you have your current location, if you want a bit more information, it'll give you the address, it'll give you the option to add it to your contacts or to add as a bookmark. The other cool thing you can do in this search box at the top here is find directions to a place. So if, for instance, I want to go to Man's Chinese Theatre in Hollywood, a great tourist destination. I've already pre-typed it in. Let's tap that one. And there's Grauman's Chinese Theatre. Now I want to get directions there, so I'm going to type in my current location and it'll automatically give me directions from where I am, my current location, to my destination, which is Gra Grauman's Chinese Theatre. Now uh, along the bottom you'll see this blue bar. You can choose whether you want directions in a car, taking public transport or walking. I'm going to choose car. So I hit start. There you go, it's given me the best route to take. And if you click on this icon to the left, it'll give me the list of directions. So maybe I want to take my iPad with me in the car if I don't have a GPS, or I may want to write the directions out. It's really simple. You can minimize that. You can also reverse directions. So say if you want to return home and you need directions, you click this little icon in the middle. It'll take you from Grauman's Chinese Theater to your current location. It's really easy to use. So there you go, that's how you use Maps on the iPad. Really handy, really easy to use. I'll see you next time, I'm Asha Kay.